I'm Anil Kumar and in this series we are trying to understand how to relate a function with another function and we have taken up many geometrical shapes and now we are into three-dimensional geometrical shapes the question here is a right circular cylinder is inscribed in a right circular cone of height h and base r express the volume v of the cylinder as a function of its base radius r so let's make a diagram so i'll make a cross section view of a cone which will be a triangle correct so cone is a three dimensional figure but if you cut it across you get a triangle now within this cone what we have is a right circular cylinder inscribed so let us say this is the cylinder which is inscribed in the cone and the objective here is that we have to express volume of a cylinder so volume of a cylinder v is pi r square h so volume is pi r square h so we have to express this volume of a cylinder as a function of its base radius r so that is what it is which is inscribed in a particular cone so let me uh, just do a bit of work here so that I can define my variables and then we move forward from there okay so what we have here is a cylinder whose radius is R so let us say this radius is R for us and the height of the cylinder is H okay? and we are given a right circular cone that big one whose radius is capital R so this is that radius of the big cone and let us say the height of this cone is okay let me let me just do it like this capital H right so these are bigger numbers so I'm putting capital letters for them so the so we have a right circular cone whose radius is R and height is capital H so capital R and capital H on the other hand we have a cylinder inscribed in it which has dimensions of small r and small height now to relate the volume in terms of r we really mean we have to get rid of h from here that is what we mean we want only one variable at present we are writing this formula in terms of two variables now to explore further the volume especially in the cases when we need to maximize volume or something like that with respect to the dimensions within the cone in that case it is required that we write a function in terms of just one variable now you'll observe that we have two similar triangles here so let me just label let's say this is a b c is the big triangle and these points are d e and let me call this as f and g okay so what you notice here is that the triangle let's see the half of this triangle so we see that the big triangle which is uh, a b okay so we have a b c d e f g let me call this o okay so so ABO, the triangle ABO, the big triangle, is actually similar to the small triangle DBF. Right, since we have this, uh, this is common angle, correct? So if you s select this big triangle, this is the common angle. And then we have 90 degrees here, 90 degrees, okay. So from double A properties, uh, these two triangles I should write similar. Okay, similar. The properties are double A. Two A's, if two angles are equal, then the triangles are similar. Now the important thing is, if the triangles are similar, we could write ratio of their sides, they, that's constant. That is to say, for the small triangle, uh, DF over the base BF, is equals to the big triangle AO over the base BO so they are similar so if you write in terms of given variables we can say DF is a height of the cylinder BF is capital radius minus a small radius so this one is the small radius correct of the cylinder so we can write capital radius minus small radius AO is the big height of the cone and B O is the big R, capital R, radius of the cone. So that is how you can relate these variables, correct? 
Now let's move on to the right side. A very limited space to work with. Okay. So what we really need is we want to get rid of height from this expression and we want to write volume in terms of just radius. Okay. So isolate height from this formula. So we say height of the cylinder is equals to so we'll multiply capital H over R by the difference of radius of the two, right? So that is how we get the expression. Now I can substitute this in the volume formula. Let me do so. So I get volume of the cylinder. This is volume of cylinder, okay? So volume of cylinder is equal to pi R square, pi R square, and instead of height, what I'm going to do here is write down what we wrote, right? Height is h over r times r minus r. You get the idea, right? So that is how you can write one function in terms of the other function, correct? So let's remember this. So when you do that, then you can always say, well, this height of the cone is given to us, capital R of the cone is given to us. So the only variable here is flexibility in the radius of the cylinder. So if I have to maximize the volume, you know, I could bring it down, I could have bigger radius. If I take it up, smaller radius. But what dimension is going to give me maximum volume? Those kinds of questions could be solved from this function flexibility, okay? So let me write this as volume of cylinder as a function of its radius, r. So it should be written as, I'm just combining and rewriting the whole thing, right? Nothing great. So let me just put them here. It doesn't really matter. I should have written it in the very beginning also, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that is the formula for us. And let's remember this formula. It could be applied to word problems which relate to maximum and minimum kind of things, right? And especially for students who are going for calculus, they should know and they should have flexibility with functions to move forward easily. I hope this helps. Thank you and all the best.